Close your eyes and observe your breath. Notice when it's coming in, notice when it's going out, and how it feels. When we're studying about the Buddha's teaching, this is where we study, right here at our awareness of the present moment. You study what's going on in the body, you study what's going on in the mind. Because that's where suffering is happening, and that's where the cause of suffering is happening. But that's also where you can develop the qualities that will put an end to suffering. So all the important things are right here. But it's important that you learn to stay here in a balanced way so you don't go slipping off. Because when you go slipping off, you miss things. If you want to understand if A causes B, you have to be with it all the way from A into B. But if you're there with A and then go running off someplace else and you come back to B, you have no idea what happened in the meantime. It's like watching a TV show. You come running into the room, go running out of the room, come running in ten minutes later, things have changed. You don't know really why. You're missing chunks of the story. Say, so we'll learn how to stay in the present moment in a balanced way. This is one of the reasons why we work with the breath, because the breath can be adjusted so that it feels pleasant to be here in the present moment. You can make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. You can think of the breath energy going through the nerves. It's not the air going through the nerves, it's the breath energy going through the nerves, going through the blood vessels, all the way out to the tips of the fingers and tips of the toes. You hold that perception in mind. And you find that the sense of energy in the body gets very pleasant. It's a good place to be. It's a good, solid place to be because your awareness now is filling the whole body. And then when something comes up, you can see it. And greed comes up, you notice, oh, this is greed. And you watch it. If you were to act on it, where would it take you? And even the fact that it's there in the mind. If it doesn't disappear immediately, well, then there's going to be tension in the mind, tension in the body. The same with anger, the same with lust, the same with aversion, the same with fear. All these emotions, they leave their imprints in the body and in the mind, especially if you play along with them. And there with the breath, you can see this clearly. And if your mindfulness is constant, in other words, there are no big gaps, you're not running off into the next room, you get to see the connections. And you see, oh, it's impossible to have X without having Y. It's impossible to engage in craving without having some suffering and stress. But you can also see, if you're really mindful and alert and use your discernment, you can cut through these things and weaken their hold on the mind. So everything you need to know is right here, right here at the breath, where the body and the mind meet. Make sure you know this spot really well. And as for what you know about things outside, that's secondary. The important issues in life are happening right here, so don't overlook them. Learn to observe what's happening right here and to stay right here as your base of operations. That way you learn all the things you need to learn about straightening out the mind.